Let's get more now on the CPS decision to take no further action against newspapers and journalists on phone hacking allegations. Paul Tweed is a media lawyer and joins us uh, from Belfast now. Afternoon to you. What is your reading into this, that uh, it was just getting bogged down? Well, uh, I'm not particularly surprised. Uh, the phone hacking uh, 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 scenario has been in the news now since July 2011. And so it's inevitable uh, that there's not only uh, going to be or ha going to have been public fatigue uh, in listening about it, but also uh, the cost of the Metropolitan Police investigation is going to become an increasing issue. Uh, from our point of view, we still have a significant number of clients who firmly believe that their phones have been hacked, but unfortunately we've been unable to produce any evidence either through the Operation Golding uh, and Wheating uh, investigations or through our own inquiries. However, those claims, so far as we're concerned, remain live, along with the, the civil claims that are still being processed in the High Court at the moment. And that situation right. will continue. Right, so you think that there are still cases to answer and that actually, I mean, those, those are separate cases. Do you think the, the ones that there have been investigated by this operation should continue then? Yes, well, certainly I think the civil uh, investigations sh should continue. We will be continuing at our end on behalf of our clients. Uh, the fact that a decision, this decision has been taken today uh, will obviously make it much more difficult in, in the sense that there were already relatively limited police resources being dedicated to the investigation. And my assumption is uh, that they, they will be uh, degraded further uh, as a result of this. However, uh, a number of our clients remain convinced uh, that they were the victims and they will remain determined that if at all possible, uh, they will use every avenue they can to seek justice. Do you think, um, Paul, this is uh, largely or, or to some extent about public opinion over this, that money was being spent, you occasionally got uh, a high-profile person speaking about it, and, and actually the public appetite for the police to invest, investigate this sort of thing is just not there? Yes, I think there's no doubt about that whatsoever. As I say, this has been in the news now for almost five years, and of course, uh, the public uh, you know, are, are starting to tire of it. Uh, police resources are precious and they are necessary in, in other areas. And uh, it's quite understandable that there has to be a finite limit uh, put on the investigation. Uh, the fact that this announcement was made today uh, was probably no surprise to, to many people. But obviously, uh, as, a, as a media lawyer acting for uh, a significant number of claimants, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I am disappointed and I would have preferred uh, that perhaps if the, uh, the criminal investigation would have been kept open for at least a short period longer. But that's not to be and we'll have to just make the best uh, with whatever uh, uh, investigative powers are available to us now. Paul Tweed, media lawyer, thanks very much.